five years of planning and discussions are finally being put into action with the redevelopment of the cycleway along the one-way corridor in North Dunedin. Road work started in September last year and motorists are experiencing delays as traffic is often reduced to one lane while the work continues. John Kaiser is a member of the cycling advocacy group Spokes and recognises the frustration road users are currently feeling. It's going to be a really good asset for us in the future and it's going to get people on bikes and, and lessen congestion and, and get people just out there enjoying themselves and getting to work uh, and I think that's a really positive thing to keep an eye on even though in the short term you know uh, we are going to have to be patient. Already some trial placements of traffic islands have had to be changed because they were too confusing. But Kaiser says the contractors are doing well with adapting the New Zealand Transport Agency plans into an effective and safe cycleway. Yeah, so Fulton Hogan has been uh, on this project. They've been doing an excellent job um, and they're really listening to, to us folks and they're also listening to the public to you know, try and make this transition as easy as possible uh, and to make sure that the plans that NZTA have, have kind of laid out are executed to the best uh, standards worldwide and we're really impressed with the work that they've, they've been doing and they've been really transparent with us about what's going on and we try and keep everyone up to date as to uh, what's going on, what are these transition points, you know, why are these concrete blocks going in, where are they going in and when can we expect them. They've been really good about that kind of thing. The cycleway will follow Dunedin's one-way system in both directions from the Botanic Garden to Queen's Gardens in the centre of town and, according to Kaiser, will propel the city into the 21st century. The future of cities is in bikes and in, in walkability, bikeability, and we just want to make Dunedin a, a city of the future like that, uh, make it where people stop at businesses along the way. You know, it's good for businesses, it's good for people, it's good for our health, um, and we just want to see those changes uh, done and, and done as quickly as we can. The project is expected to cost over $5 million, and will be completed around September this year. Rudy Adrian, The South Today.